Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on your location and the time you are watching me now. Yeah, this is all about uh, those that are interested in applying for Nigerian visa. If you are interested in applying for Nigeria tourism visa or any type of visa that you want to apply to go to Nigeria, yeah, this is the steps that you have to take and the, the real website where you can go and, and obtain your Nigeria visa if you if you are able to provide the documentations and the, the paper work the, they might request from you for those that are going that are interested in applying for the, for the Nigerian visa tourism visa or business visa or for those that are married to Nigerians, though people that are married to Nigerians, men or Nigerian women, you cannot apply your own online. This one is for those that are applying online. And uh, if you are married to Nigerians, you have to go to the embassy that are located in where you live, or Nigerian mission or Nigerian consular in any part of the world where you live, where you stay, where you were born, or where you are living. Or where you apply from let me put it that way so here it is this is the site this is actually the original the real site visa.immigration.gov.ng so when you go to this site you will definitely see come to this uh, this uh, uh, come across this page like this as it is here in my in my screen so that is it so now for the application aspect of it when you come down here you can see your nationality where you were born this uh, your nationality where you were born passport type with the past type of passport you want to use to apply for the visa here is the visa type that you want to apply this one is a the visa class this one the processing country country you are applying from country you are resident of or country where you were born or country where you reside you presently reside where you are applying from uh, for this visa from so that's what is the mission the nigeria embassy that's the nigeria embassy or nigeria consulate consulate mm -hmm. Of a Nigerian mission in your country or the country of your residence where you are applying from. So now let us uh, dive into it. Dive into it. Here we see you choose your what nationality. Let me just choose like um, uh, what what would I choose? Let me choose Australia. Yeah, if you are any part of the world, not only Australia. I'm using Australia for example. You can be in Africa here, uh, Uganda. Uh, Angola, Kenya, South Africa, uh, Tanzania, uh, whichever country you are, you are applying from. So when you put your Australia, the country of your nationality, I mean your country, I mean your nationality, where you were born, the country of your birth, yeah. So you come to this page, type of uh, passport, click here standard passport this standard passport is uh, an ordinary passport that every citizen of any country are using diplomatic passport is for most of uh, government officials senators house of reeves or member of parliament whatever you call it in your country or official passport official passport and then some of these passports is passport used by military police and those things or you and you are working for UN and you have a UN passport or you are a refugee you collected or you have a UN uh, passport so all these things for example for this for the purpose of this uh, recording or this uh, 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 application let us use this uh, standard passport which we know that everyone everyone can afford or is in possession of this so let us select standard passport Oh shoot, invalid. Let, let it come back. It will get back. You seem to have time out. Uh, okay, okay, okay. 
okay look at that. i was still to sign in okay wait first you have to uh, sign in to this site first before you be able to apply so for this one now see i'm using my email to sign in use sign uh, using google so i'm using my email so when the interface pop up like this you choose the email that you want to use Bam. So now this is it. This is it. They will ask you to create application. Create application. You click this create application here. Once you click it, it will bring it to this interface. Okay. So now let us start this application. You choose nationality. Like I said, let me choose Australia as my nationality. Let's, let me choose the type of um, passport that I will be using to apply for it. Standard passports, ordinary passports, as the case may be. But now, on that thing is what? The type of visa you want. Multiple entry, single entry, STR. This STR visa is for those for expatriate mostly for expatriate and they are um, dependent and they are dependent are using these ones or you married to a nigerian man or a nigerian woman you use this one this etia str but though this one here is for those is for for the expatriate they are the one using this one this one here because the one for nigeria uh, niger wife we call it Nigerian wife or the one that uh, someone that married to a nigerian use they don't put it here it's in the embassy you go to the embassy they give you the form you fill the form yourself there and they provide the uh, necessary required document they will they will be required of you or required from you whichever one so now for the purpose of this uh, application that we're doing here now i choose this single entry single entry is here automatically it will come here number of entries is one this it so you come to this side now uh visa class you see this one is a f7h f7h that's academic exchange program student for students and uh, this one is uh, F7F, artist, entertainer, musician, visa. For those that are coming for, maybe they want to come for music concert, for comedy, comedy or like comedians, uh, musicians. If you're an upcoming musician, you want to come and stay in Nigeria to uh, uh, develop your career. This is type of visa you. We apply for F7 F visa and the F4A business visa. If you want to apply for business visa, if you are a cleric like a pastor or whatever, or a cleric or imam or a Muslim cleric, Sikh, whichever one you are, you use this one. Emergency relief workers like all this UN or those there about humanitarian service visa for the humanitarian international cultural exchange for those that are coming for international and this one is for journalists medical tourism for those that are coming to nigeria for treatment for treatment and the other uh, medical attentions this is for religious uh, tourism for those that are coming to visit to coming to church if you are coming to in any church in nigeria and you are invited to come to the church uh, this one or you come to attend church services you can use this one Spot for footballers and other things. Stuff of Ingo. Last uh, um, steps, Ingo. Uh, okay, I don't know. I see In Ingo or whatever. But well, this one is Ingo. Ingo. Non government organization. Study tour visa for those that are coming for education to check out the school they want on the how the school system works in Nigeria. This one now is tourism visa, and this is one we are using. And if you are transiting through Nigeria, this is the visa that you will use. Mm -hmm. 
you just want to visit a relative or whatever, whichever you're visiting this app, you use this one. So, for the purpose of this uh, application that we are making online, huh, let us use this tourism visa. Okay, so now you come here, you see, you must be following it the way it is, or else, when you, if you don't click this one, if you don't uh, feel this one, this one will not open. If you don't feel this one, this one will not open. That's it, you have to follow it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Understand? Now, for example, this one now, you see, nothing comes out, nothing comes out on this one. So, but when you feel this one first, like this one now, um, okay, let me come back. The processing country, a uh, country, country where you are, where you want it to be processed. So you click it. Let me click this one. Just choose Australia as well. Yeah, boom. Australia. And when you come to this place, did you see open? You choose. This is the where Nigeria Embassy is. Nigeria Mission is. Did you see that? You click it on it. Click on it, boom. It will automatically bring to you the visa fee. Visa fee of one forty-one dollar. Okay, that's for Australia. Remember that the visa fee is different from one country to another. They are not. Uh, the visa fee is not uh, uniform. Uh -huh. So it depends on the country where you are applying from. It might vary from this one. It might be different from the uh, the price might vary. Understand? It might be higher. It might be lower. Understand? So therefore, when you fill this place, you proceed. Continue. Now, let me use myself or someone's name, for example, to apply for this. Now, this is it. You fill your information here your title maybe let me just take myself for example this time okay Of bed, let me just clear to have month December nineteen. I'm just really using a random numbers. Where is it? Piece of bed where you were born for my own in my case let me use a random for example now if you're in australia uh, be born be born in australia okay, okay melbourne uh, thank you melbourne australia so in there no, because I'm because I choose Mr. Automatically I'm a male. That's it. Okay. So whichever one, if you choose Mrs., you know you become female here. Mm -hmm. If you choose Miss, female. So that should be should be okay. Let me use this one for example of the number. Now marital status. So you have to choose it. Uh, maybe married and married okay choose it and you put your picture here let me choose one of my picture you upload your picture you choose this my picture here from my laptop do you see that so you say okay it will come out there make sure that the picture you you use is white background as this one the case of this one may be can you see it white background yeah so we come down now your passport number let me just use anything zero zero okay one three six uh, five six four now expiring date 
you click it will give you make sure that your passport is at least at least at least six months before the expiration okay yeah so now that's the spring date of my passport now you click this one you click on this way this one the previous nationality if you have any other dual if you are dual citizen you can uh, put any other nationality you want here if you don't there's no problem there occupation your occupation self-employed maybe if you are self-employed eh? self-employed if you are self if you are working you put your you put your you know whatever it is you put it there now you come down here country there is a contact address for example for this one you will choose um, the country you well, because I'm using Australia for example okay mm -hmm. Melbourne Melbourne Australia yeah that is my place of birth yeah and the uh, state Let me put it this way: Western, uh, Western, um, Western, Western Australia. The code is not necessary. If you want to put it, can do two zero zero. That's it. You just put it. To, we are using random this in here. We are no, it's not composing as crap. Bam. To bring you here, they will ask you the day of your arrival. Uh, this one, the day that you want to reach Nigeria. Uh, you say this is 2024, right? Now you click this one, you say December, whichever date you want to use. December 2024, December, uh, December 1st. Mm -hmm. You are leaving. Uh, That to say January 1st, yeah, 2025. Duration of stay automatically closed. Mm -hmm. Have you applied for Nigeria visa in the last three years? That's question. Okay. What is this? No. Have you? Have your fingerprint been collected previously? No. If you have not applied before, but if you apply, if you have applied or they have collected your fingerprints in your previous application, you will say yes. If the case does not apply to you, you say no. Have you served in military? If you have served, say yes. If you have not served, say no. References, type of residence. Okay, type of reference, sorry. Yeah, maybe if you want to refer, because maybe is your employer that is inviting you through employment, you are coming through employment, or you do self. If you tourism, you say self. You say self. Uh -huh. Now, the person that is inviting your phone, if it's you are the one that wants to sponsor yourself or care about, you put your full name there and send. Uh -huh. Mailball. Mail, boom, Australia. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. This one is where you are going in Nigeria. You put here. Arasan, where you are going in Nigeria. Hmm? Okay. So, so when you are in Nigeria, city, it might be Lagos, you are going, it might be Abuja, it might be Enugu, it might be Patakot. For this case, 
for the case of this uh, one that we are making now, we use Lagos. state you click legal state you have a lot of states in nigeria so we are just using american system of uh, government you are there about so you use uh, lagos so when you come here so if you are the one that will cover your expenses it's for coverage you say self if it's your employer or the person that is inviting you is covered for your services. You choose the whichever one you is applicable to you. So you click next. Well, this is your application now. This is your complete application. And the total fee is what one and forty-one dollar. You submit and pay, or you submit and pay later. But I will advise you have your credit card or debit card with you when you are applying so that it will be better for you to pay while submitting understand it will be very much hassle free for you uh, you won't be coming back to it and do this and that, that so you cross check when you finish you cross check you cross check your information before submitting you see that so that is it that is it. That is it. For those that are planning to come to Nigeria, visit Nigeria through tourism. So this is it. But if you cannot do these things for yourself, you can send us an email. You can send us an email. This is our email here. Did you see that? I said email. You can send us email. SimonWord24 at gmail.com Simon Ward 24 at gmail.com. You send us. We will have it for the application once you get your visa. Thank you for watching and God bless. Please remember to share this information for those for those that are that will be interested in uh, applying for Nigeria visa of that will be interested in uh, going to Nigeria. So that is it. Share this, like, comment, or whichever thing that you want to know about Nigeria. Any information you seek, please kindly uh, give us a private message. We will reply to you or you comment on the comment section so that we'll be able to give you uh, an update. Thank you so much. Please like, share and comment. God bless you.